Rodian Amarov losing his life at the age of 21. Like right away when I see this story, people trying to say Toronto Maple Leafs forward and prospect Rodian Amarov. To me, it's just a 21 year old who passed away. And, and that that's the part that hurts. Yeah, he played hockey. But I think in, in, in scenarios like that, you have to humanize it so quick. Just such a sad story, Rosie. Yeah, it really is. Obviously, like you said, we talk about it because he was a Maple Leafs prospect, but for a young man, I mean, that's just the ultimate tragedy. And I just, my heart goes out to his parents and his family when, you know, you, you lose someone at that age, at the very beginning of their adulthood and with so much, you know, to look forward to and be excited for. And I can imagine their parents, you know, a young man with drive and passion, obviously for something. And they had so much excitement for his life to, to move forward and to do what he was doing and, and to be taken away. It's just, it's just heartbreaking. And I mean, obviously the, the Leafs and everyone else around them send out their condolences, but uh, at the end of the day, a young man loses his life, you know, needlessly from, you know, a brain tumor and cancer. It's just, it's sad. It's sad as could be. And, uh, Hockey aside, obviously, just a, tra- a tragedy. And for a young man to to just be taken like that, I can't imagine the the pain that their family is feeling. It really puts life in a perspective. And as we record this, I believe uh, hours earlier, they did a bit of a service, a funeral service down in Ufa in Russia. And they they had the, uh, the KHL arena where everybody paid their respects. He was laid to rest as well. And just it's one of those things where you're almost at a loss for words. It really puts life in a perspective that, you know, a year and a half ago, this kid was healthy, gets diagnosed with a brain tumor in February of 2022. And next thing you know, he's done uh, 21 years of age. And it really, really is a sobering story, honestly, when you look at it. And again, I don't really look at it as a hockey story. The fact that a 21 year old, super healthy pro athlete drafted first round in the NHL to lose his life the way he did. Just uh, I think a stern reminder how short life truly can be, Rosie. Yeah, and also puts things in perspective with this hockey thing that we do and this team that we care about and get frustrated about and get mad about. I mean, you can step back once in a while. It's good for people to, to, you know, be reminded that life is fleeting and this hockey thing is not the most important thing in the world. We care about it. The passion is there, absolutely. But sometimes you step back and say, my God, a a young man like that has lost his life. And it kind of does put things in perspective. So maybe maybe a good perspective to remind ourselves in in Leafs Nation as we move forward with this season. You know, what's really important and, uh, you know, keep the loved ones close, man, because things like that happen. And it's, uh, like I said, an absolute tragedy. Very well said, and it made me think back to the home opener last year against the Washington Capitals. If you recall, Rodian Amarov was in the building for that, and they announced him as uh, you know, a player on the team. I thought it was a really, really nice touch to have him there, considering everything he had been through. I think they were very private of that situation. I think I can respect that, that we, the media or the fans, really didn't know much about what was going on, right? We were told initially what had transpired, and after that, they didn't say much, much more, so... Again, our thoughts and prayers with the family, the teammates. I thought John Tavares had some really, really, uh, you know, nice comments on the situation. Like, it it really is sad. And you never have, like, the words to express, especially if you haven't been through a situation like that, whether you're a friend or a family member or a teammate, uh, to talk about, you know, the player. And and so I want, I thought it was important to lead with that today because it was such a sad story. And for me, it really hit home just as, a 21-year-old kid, you know, hockey aside, a 21-year-old kid losing your life. Like, you should live to your 80, 85 years old, you know? Yeah, and, you know, in my line of work with firefighting, I yeah. see death all the time, and I don't get rattled by very much, and things happen. But when I think about being a father and and losing one of my sons, I can't even, I can't even go there just to think about it or to, to exercise that possibility. I just, I won't do it. I can't do it. And for that reason, to, to have that kid, like I said, with the passion and, and life ahead of him. And I mean, their parents, I'm sure were more excited about his life's future than their own. Yeah. And to have that taken away, I, my heart just goes out to their, his parents.